Hi, my name is Audrey with Klein Instruments. I'm here to help you get started calibrating monitors with the K10A colorimeter. This will help you match the colors in multiple monitors. And now to the software. The first step is to install our software, ChromaSurf. It's available as a free download from our website. A link is available in the description. After installation, there should be a ChromaSurf icon on the desktop. Double click the icon to launch it. Next, we are going to connect our K10A unit to our PC via USB cable. Now, if we rescan the devices in ChromaSurf, our K10A will show up. First thing you have to do is set the calibration file. Just double click the cal file text box and then select the correct one. This monitor is a TV logic display, so we will select that cal file. If you are using an LCD monitor, you would simply select the factory cal file and so on. Now there is an extra step if you are calibrating a Sony OLED. Go to Settings, Edit, then set our white offset to Sony. Again, only if you are calibrating a Sony OLED. You can also create your own offset, but that's more advanced and we won't get into that with this video. Now, the second thing we need to do to set up for calibration is open our test panel. Go to Tools, Test Panel. This is the area of the screen we will measure from. Now we can position our colorimeter to take the reading. If you want, you can use this rubber blue included with the K10A to eliminate ambient light. Then, you can place this directly against the screen with the rubber boot. The only settings we will need to touch within ChromaSurf are right here. Here we can change the gamut, which refers to the RGB values and white point indicated by this triangle. For this example, we'll use Rec 709. We should also change the gamma to the desired value. Today, I'm going to use 2.2. For a more detailed video on gamut, gamma, and some other technical information on calibration, click the link here or find the link in the description. We'll set the video range to broadcast or PC depending on what you're calibrating for. We will select the PC right now to have the range from 0 to 255. If we were calibrating this for TV or broadcast purposes, we probably would use the broadcast setting. After this is set, we need to set the max white value. To do this, we go over to the test panel and click on the button called Map Target Color. This will link your test panel to the settings down here. Then we need to make the color white and set the IRE to 100. Then we can finally hit Measure to read our color with the K10A. Here is our big Y value. We are going to place it in the Max White text field. Now, click Update. This is setting the maximum brightness for the monitor. So if you're calibrating multiple monitors, it is important to use the max white value from the dimmest monitor for all the displays. This will help ensure that they all have the same intensity. Now let's set our target. This is the color we will calibrate for. 60 to 80% of calibration is making sure the white point is calibrated. So let's start there. We will calibrate white at 80 IRE for now. This will let us calibrate the gain. Sometimes you might calibrate in 10 point IRE increments for a more detailed gamma curve. Again, if this seems way over your head, a more detailed description of what we are doing can be found in our advanced calibration video. Now the fun part, calibration. Setting our chart to bar will make it easier to see how we're affecting our monitor. To perform the actual calibration, let's go into our monitor settings and change the RGB values for the white point. Every monitor will be set up differently, so you may need to refer to your monitor's manual for assistance. In this example, it's under the color menu. Now we just simply adjust our red, green, and blue values until each bar reads at 100% of that color. Now the red is at 100%. Now 
now the green. And the blue. Sometimes when you're adjusting other colors, it will throw off previous colors. So we can go back and adjust again to perfect. Almost done. Now we can go back to our settings panel and set our IRE for 30 so that we can measure the bias. Once each bar is aligned, your white point is successfully calibrated. Depending on what monitor you are using, this may be as far as you need to go. For more advanced monitors and TVs, there may be an option to calibrate the individual red, green, and blue channels. To calibrate these, all we have to do is repeat the steps in this video, but change the target in ChromaSurf to match the color you are calibrating. Now we are all calibrated and ready to go. If you have done this process to all your monitors, they should all match. Feel free to call or email Klein Instruments if you have any questions about ChromaSurf or the K10A. Thanks for watching.